Joshua Dennis. I am founder and CEO of Dennis Trees. And today I shall be showing you lesson two for starting off with pickaxe. This is aimed for the simple pick kit from Pickaxe, which contains three LEDs, a push button, and an LDR. Now this is for the um, desktop axe pad. If you're using the Pickaxe Cloud, please check the Pickaxe Cloud video. Um, so yeah, this is the desktop version. If you're doing Pickaxe Cloud, please check the other video. Okay, so this is the program that we used in lesson one. This is the one I showed you before. And now we're going to be adding a bit more to it. And the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding a um, an address to this. An address is how we name bits of the program. And I'm going to be calling this light, because this is what this part of the program is. Okay. Now what we want to do is, um, I want this program here to loop. I want it to loop three times. Okay, so I don't want it to just turn on and off continuously forever. I just want it to be for three times. So I'm going to make a variable, and in pickaxe there are certain variable names, and one of them is B0. Now it's not like a port where you put a dot in the middle there. You see that's got a full stop in the middle. This one doesn't have a full stop. If it does, if you put a full stop in, it will go dark blue like that. We want this to be bright purple. And to start with, we can have that equal zero. Okay, there's our variable made, and at the bottom here, after this pause, I'm going to do b0 equals b0 plus 1. Now, this b0, this every time this program loops, b0 will increase by 1. So the first one, it will be 1, then 2, then 3. And I want this to loop three times. So I'm going to do loop. Um, so we already have the loop here, which is going to type the word until. And then b0 equals... Three. There we go. Now this is our light program, but I want to make it so that when I push the button, this happens. And so we're going to make another program within this. So just enter down a couple of times like that, and we're going to call this program main. Like that. Now main is the standard name for your main program. In fact, you can call this anything. Okay. But I call it main because it's nice and simple and easy, and we're going to need to type this a couple of times. I'm going to make another loop now in main, which is going to be another do loop. And then I'm going to do if pin c3 equals 1, then go to light. And then we end the loop. And what this is basically saying is whenever pin C3 is pressed, which is the push button, the program will then exit this loop and go down to light. And it will then run that program. Now, unfortunately, it will just end the program there. We want this to go back to main. And so, you see how here we've used the command to jump to another address, which is go to light. At the end of the light program, we're going to put go to main. And then here, from there, it will go straight back up to the beginning, and then that will continue to loop until you press the button. Then it will jump down to there, do this three times, come back to here, jump back up, and then you'll continue the cycle like that. I've downloaded this to my chip. We can now see a video of it running here. So as you see, it, the light's turning on and off, and it is looping the program. Okay. So, now see if you can do this, and whilst you're doing it, maybe change, like last time, so change the numbers around, or you might, in fact, want to change the amount of times it loops, so instead of it being three times, maybe make it six times, or five times, or four times, or twice. Um, so yeah, so try and play around with this and have a go. Um, thank you for listening. Lesson three will be coming up later on. Thank you very much. Have a good day.